Hello. The central symbol of the Christian faith is the cross. Now there have been a variety of different shapes of the cross, but this is known as the Latin cross, the one that the Romans used. And they were very, very adept at using crucifixion as a method of execution and quite a deterrent, I should imagine, to the criminals of its day. Above the, the cross would be the place where the crime of the person would be nailed. Of course, with Jesus Christ, there were no crimes, except that he was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And that was nailed above his head. So it was probably this sort of cross that Jesus died on. The Greeks had their own cross. That's a, a Greek cross. Many of us in this country would be familiar with St. Andrew's cross. And there's St. Anthony's cross. This is another possible cross that Jesus died on, although there would be no place to actually nail the board above his head. So this probably is not the cross that Jesus died on, but one that you often see. Sometimes you see people with these around their necks. It's called the cross engrailed, and it just means it's got these sharp points all over, reminding us of the nails and the sharpness of the pain that Jesus suffered for us when he died on the cross. This one's called the Passion Cross. Sadly today, when you think of passion, especially on the media, it only means one thing, sexual love. But actually the word passion comes from the Latin word passio, which means to suffer. And when Christians speak of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, we really mean those times when he suffered over a long period of time. It must have been agony for him the whole of his life to see what sin had done to his creation but particularly during Holy Week, we think of the sufferings of the Lord Jesus. We think of the sharpness of the nails and the spear and the scourging of his back. The passion of the Lord Jesus is described by that cross. This cross is known as the cross Barbie. Nothing to do with Barbie dolls, but it's got these little barbs on the end that you often find on the end of fish hooks and on fish spears. I've seen people actually calculating the refraction in the water and spearing fish that uh, most of us in this country would be anglers that would use fish hooks and this cross reminds us that Jesus said follow me and I will make you fishes of men what he really wants from his followers is not only a holy life and devotion to him but he wants Christians to reach out and share the good news his tremendous thrill every time when a person is able to share the message of Jesus Christ. Follow me, said Jesus, and I will make you fishers of men and women and boys and girls. And all over the world, people are being drawn to Jesus Christ through his message even today. This one is often called the Maltese cross, but that's in fact an error. It's the cross putty. It reminds us of the protecting power of the cross. These are supposed to be wings. And if you have seen any pictures and films about Christopher Columbus and galleons of years ago, you'll quite often see this shape cross actually in the big sail right at the front. And I'm sure the sailors were wanting the protection of God for their particular voyage. But the cross of Jesus Christ gives us protection for the whole of our life and into, in, into the future as well. This cross I've described as the cross that's the bridge. In fact, that's what Jesus came to do, to be the bridge between God and ourselves. He came to draw us together. In fact, he's the only one that can do that. We can't do it ourselves. In fact, Jesus has done for us what we couldn't possibly do for ourselves. So please, don't try to get to heaven in your own strength, will you? It's a waste of time. Don't try to be good to get to heaven. You can never be good enough. Come to the one who said he was the way, the truth, and the life. The one that the Bible says is the bridge between God and man. Find Christ and you find eternal life. I hope very soon you'll come to know Jesus Christ as your own saviour and friend and then serve him as your Lord and win others to Jesus Christ too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.